So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In this video, I am going to show you how you can schedule automatic downloads of data from Power BI to you name it, whatever you want to put it, okay? Let's get started. <laughs> okay guys, so I have shown you in a hundred thousand videos how you can export data from Power BI. You have here, if you just Google export data Power BI Kerbal, you'll see how to export using DAX Studio to Azure or Azure uh, to SQL on Prem, you have to CSV, Excel, text, um, seriously, there's like a thousand, how do you do it in Excel with a new XMLM, XLMA? I'm going to link to all those videos down below, but you've asked me quite a few times, like, can I schedule, refresh that? Can I schedule, you know, the refresh and also the download? And yes, you can, if under limitations, as always, but let me show you. I'm going to show you with a simple example. Okay, guys, so we have some data from Wikipedia. This is the corona data, uh, the pandemic. So let's say that for whatever reason you want to download this data regularly into a CSV on your computer. So how do you do that? I have shown you on a previous video how to download data. I'm going to post a link down below here download data to CSV Excel or text. So I'm going to link this to here. You have everything that you need in order to get this working, which is basically install R and install some um, libraries, right? So once you have that installed, you will run R script. This is a simplified version of the R script that I have on the other video. Click OK. And this basically gets all the data and exports to a dataset CSV file. It's called dataset, the file, on your computer. And it will contain the data you see here, right? So how do I schedule refresh this? Let me show you. It is loading. What you basically need to do is after you download this, you need to publish it to the Power BI service and do a schedule refresh there. And depending on what service it is, it will require different things. That basically means that you cannot have the Excel file open when you do the refresh. Just so you know, <laughs> in case you see it. I had it open, okay, come on. Apply changes. Let's refresh this again. Okay, so now we have the data in Power BI. We're going to save it. And we're going to publish it to Power BI service. Click on open schedule data and then it'll take you to where it was published to. You need to sign in. You go to social media, data sets, you'll find your data set, which is schedule data downloads. And now you need to schedule refresh this basically. So you, depending on the source that you're using, you will need a gateway or not. This, if you're saving data to your computer, you need the on-prem personal gateway, right? So you have to install it and have it running. And then you just say schedule refresh, at any time that you want, you know, with pro licenses eight times a day. And that's all you need to do. You will override every day at the schedule that you set the new data. So I believe that if you use other sources, you won't need the personal gateway, but you will need to have R install. That's the minus of this technology. You have other ways to share or to export data. You have now the XMLA, but it requires premium, which a lot of people do not have. Or you can just share data sets. You could have this Power BI report just to schedule refreshed without downloading the data, and then you have all the users connect to that Power BI report it, not, instead of downloading the data physically to a CSV file. So depending on what you're trying to do, you have different options, okay? But you can schedule refresh data downloads. Yes, 
but that's the way to do it one of the ways to do it anyhow so i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you again on friday until then take care bye bye